Integrating Bootstrap Bootstrap Deep Dive In this video, we will explore Bootstrap Grid Layout Explore Bootstrap Utilities and talk about Bootstrap Components The container element is required for the Bootstrap Grid system The margin and width will change automatically depending on the current breakpoint Then, inside the container, you will have the row element it's the wrapper for your columns. And finally, you will have the bootstrap columns. In bootstrap, those columns occupy a percentage of the width based on the 12 column system. They use a combination of padding on the columns and negative margin on the row for spacing. The margins and paddings can be removed by specifying no gutters on the parent row. Bootstrap provides another container, called Container Fluid. It can be used instead of container. The difference here is that this one will take 100% of the available width with no margins. Our next topic are Bootstrap Utilities. I'm going to be explaining some of the utilities we will be using in our website. Let's start with the Display Utilities. They allow you to control when elements of your HTML should be displayed or hidden. Just like for columns, you can apply those CSS for different breakpoints. The display CSS classes are prefixed with a D letter for the display utilities. Before going through an example together, an important reminder. Whenever a bootstrap CSS class that has a breakpoint in it means that the CSS class will apply the breakpoint for itself and any breakpoint above. Let's look at an example together. First, we have the denon class. None means we want to hide our content, and there is no breakpoint specified. So denon will hide the div for every breakpoint. Next, we have the dsm block. This means that starting from the small breakpoint, this div should be displayed. If we combine the first two classes, it means that this div will be hidden for everything smaller than the small breakpoint and displayed for everything above. Now the last class is DLG none. This means starting from the larger breakpoint, hide this div. Once again, let's put it all together. Dnone hides our div for extra small, then DSM block shows it for the small breakpoint and the medium breakpoint and DLG none hides it again for anything above large, including large. So the combination of these three classes mean we are only displaying this div when we are between the small breakpoint and the medium breakpoint. Now we move on to the spacing utilities. It gives a responsive spacing by defining margins and paddings. Classes are named using the format property sides dash size or property size dash breakpoint dash size for breakpoint responsive spacing. To define the spacing, you will have for properties M for margin or P for padding, then for the sides T for top, B for bottom, L for left, R for right, X will mean left and right, Y will mean top and bottom, and if you leave the side blank, it will mean that you will apply your margin or padding to all sides. When it comes to the sizing, it goes from 0 to 5, and the size will be from 0 0.25 to 3 REM. Or you can select the auto size, which will enable auto padding and auto margin. Let's have a look at an example. MT1 adds a margin top of 0.25 REM for all breakpoints, and PXSM2 adds a padding for left and right of 0.5 REM for everything except the extra small breakpoint. Next, we have the text utilities. They allow you to realign text, and they start with the text dash prefix. You can justify text, left align text, right align or center. Just like with the spacing utilities, you can specify for which breakpoint they will apply. The last utilities are the float. It allows you to float on any element. They start with a float dash prefix. Float none will disable floating, 
float left will float left, float right will float right, and here you can also specify on which breakpoint they apply. Bootstrap also provides a great number of components we could use in our application. But we will only use the CSS of the navbar component, and we will instead use the Angular Material components. The reason for this is that Angular Material has native Angular components. It makes more sense for us to use Angular components in an Angular application.